to uh, CNN Heroes. So many brave and honorable men and women are serving in our armed forces around the world right now, risking their lives to protect our freedoms. For some, however, returning home means facing a new kind of battle, a battle with depression, financial woes, addiction. This is the story of a veteran who climbed out of his own personal hell and found a whole new way to serve his country by serving his fellow heroes. To introduce him, please welcome a man who works with the Giving Spirit Organization to aid the homeless, Greg Kinnear. It's an honor to be here. Uh, the first time I saw this gentleman, he was on television standing in a parking lot in Florida. And he was talking to a fellow veteran trying to just get him some help. And he said, how can I turn my back on you and walk away and leave you right here? I, I can't do that. I can't because I know you wouldn't turn your back and leave me. It was very emotional. And what our hero here, Roy Foster, does is this. He travels to those hidden places off the highway, back alleys, parking lots where too many of our own homeless veterans live. And he seeks out the tents and the tarps and he offers them a safe place to eat and sleep, drug and alcohol counseling if they need it. Since 2000, Roy's helped over 900 veterans at his stand down house. Any veteran, Vietnam, Gulf War, Afghanistan, and Iraq, is offered the respect and compassion of Roy's code, which is no man left behind. And the reason that this code is so important to Roy is because he was once homeless too. There are 131,000 homeless veterans in America today. They're struggling, and that's why we need people like Roy Foster. This is an extraordinary man who's picked himself up, turned his own life around, and built a house for heroes. To see camouflage used as a covering for a place to dwell, veterans should never, ever end up in a position such as this. It shouldn't happen. All right, this is the beginning, man. It's a good day. Another veteran coming off the streets. So what's the branch? Uh, Air Force. So what was your MOS? Uh, I was a... I can't remember. No? How long you been out of the streets? Four years. I, myself, was a homeless veteran, substance abuse issues, and after completing of my treatment, I realized that there needed to be a safe place for the veteran what we're looking at is really giving this veteran back his life. Hey, Brian, welcome aboard. Good hot meals, housing, but most important, camaraderie. <laughs> Do we watch each other's back? Absolutely. That's one of the things that it's, it's taught from day one in basic training. We are not one any longer. We are a unit. United States Army Service Company, 10th Special Forces Group. I was in the United States Marine Corps. I served in Vietnam for a year and a half. Iraqi Freedom, Enduring Freedom, 91st Base Command. I was doing everything I could do to kill myself. Drinking and drugs and anything I could do. It's easier for a veteran to confide in another veteran. His deepest secrets. And that camaraderie is a vital part of being here at Stand Down. I've been here about a month now. I've been here five months. One week. I've been here about four hours. There are so many cracks that are in the system where a veteran can be easily left behind. Here at Stand Down, no. No man left behind. Please stand up and honor CNN hero, Roy Foster.
you know, this is my position with this, and that is veterans, the greatest warriors in this world, men that are going to live out the last shot, the last bullet that's fired on the battleground for the next 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now. And they're living in woods, in tents, in despair, abandoned. How could this be in America? The thing that we practice and the things that we believe in relation to our veteran is there should be no man left behind. There will be no man left behind as long as we are this nation. I'd like to thank my wife, my lovely daughter, for their support. And I also thank you all for being Americans. Thank you.